All right, folks. Uh, this is module ele uh, ten, synchronized Active Directory. So before we get started, we are going to do our setup Azure commandlet, and the setup Azure commandlet will set up a virtual machine in a uh, <coughs> resource group uh, that the virtual machine is going to host an Active Directory, not an Azure AD, but a standard. Windows domain that's going to contain user accounts and our goal here is to synchronize the directory that's running uh, Active Directory uh, Server 2012 and try to synchronize the account to an Azure AD which is used for uh, single sign-ons in the cloud. Alright, so there's going to be a virtual machine setup, a virtual network so uh, we're just going to fast forward a little until it's completed. Now part of the setup script uh, give us one of the uh, classic V1 virtual machine called ADATUM DC1. So logged into your portal, go to your resource group and uh, identify this virtual machine. You can also go straight to virtual machine classic. Now select the virtual machine, click on connect. Now here comes the login credential. Please refer to the student manual for um, the password. All right, folks, uh, the lab uh, setup is completed. There is now an Active Directory user with some uh, built in uh, users for us. The domain name is called adatum.com. And we have some users that we would like to synchronize uh, with our Azure AD tenant. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, create a Azure tenant by going to Azure AD tenant by going to the Azure portal. All right, so you're going to create a new Azure AD, and this will be a directory object. Custom create. This custom create, I'll create a new directory called Adatum Sync. Now make sure the domain name is unique to you. Here I'm using VC a datum. Uh, use your initial uh, with the on Microsoft.com as a domain. And as you can see, the a datum sync is now ready. Click on the name and go to users to create additional user. Specifically, we are going to create a global admin who is capable of pushing accounts from our local Active Directory into this Azure AD. So I'm going to click on the Add User button at the bottom. The username will be called Sync Admin. First name Sync, last name Admin. Now the role is going to be Global Admin. So make sure you uh, copy down the temporary password for this user as we will need it on the first login. Now here I'm using a notepad to write down the temporary password and the account I just created, syncadmin at your domain name dot on Microsoft dot com. Now I'm going to start a uh, in private browsing on IE so that I can uh, log on as the account that I've just created. Now the purpose I'm doing this so I'll be prompted to change a, to a permanent password uh, so that when I set up the AD sync program on the local domain controller I will have uh, I will not have to reset the password. Now 
Now it's expected to see a no subscription found because uh, it's not a uh, uh, admin for um, our Azure. It's just uh, uh, it's not here to manage our Azure account, so there is no subscription associated with this. But uh, this account is capable of working with the Azure AD that we created. So this is expected, where it says no subscription found. We go ahead and sign it out because uh, we are just here to change the password. So it looks good. All right, so to download this tool that can help us synchronize between your on-premise AD with Azure AD, we need this piece of software called Azure AD Connect. So simply ping it. And you should have a link that says download Microsoft Azure AD Connect. So go ahead and download this program. So here's a download link. Now if you uh, use the default IE settings, um, the IE settings does not allow any executables to be downloaded. So we need to go and set our internet options under securities. And we want to put Microsoft website into a trusted sites. And in fact, we're just going to say everything Microsoft is trustworthy here. Okay. Now let me reload this page. works. Right, look, looks like the download is completed. We're ready to run this tool. All right, once you run it, you'll be f uh, greeted shortly with Welcome to Azure AD Connect. We're going to specify Agree to the license terms. We're going to choose the customized settings. All right, we're going to install the required components. In a short while, these uh, required component will be finished. I'm going to uh, fast forward it. All right, now this prompt um, asks what is the option for the users to sign on into the Azure AD once they're synchronized? Uh, we have a couple of choices here. We can copy over the password hash to the Azure AD, so the same password uh, will be synchronized uh, in both places. There will be a password in your domain AD, and there will also be the same password in Azure AD. So um, it's uh, based off password synchronization. The second option is called federated. So whenever someone is trying to log into the Azure AD, the authentication is redirected to an ADFS hosted uh, on-premise. Okay, so the password is actually verified against the domain controllers. Uh, database rather than synchronize them over uh, to the Azure AD. So here we're going to choose password synchronization. Now on the other hand if you are uh, in a real life in production systems where you have lots of users uh, it probably make more sense to do a federation except uh, in our lab environment it requires us to uh, verify an internet registered domain etc. It's um, more works than we can do in the lab, but uh, please do uh, take some time look into ADFS to federate uh, the authentication to your on-premise server. So the next screen uh, asks us for Azure AD credential. So this is a sync admin account that we just set up moments ago. Remember this account is going to be uh, responsible for uh, creating and uh, synchronize the data we have from on-premise Active Directory. Now comes the next screen which uh, asks us for information about the locally installed Active Directory. Now uh, we're going to use the student account. So after supplying the uh, username password student and the uh, password can be found from uh, your instruction manual as part of the setup and uh, click on add directory. Now you'll see the configured directory is now available here. And let's click on next. 
Now, in the real production environment, uh, your company may have an internet registered domain name that you also use for Active Directory user principal name. For example, I may have uh, Victor uh, at objectmage.com as my Azure AD uh, UPN. Now, uh, I would have uh, selected that here and uh, need to verify that I own this domain. So at the moment, uh, we're going to continue without verifying uh, the domains. Okay, but it's a good uh, practice to keep them the same so the user knows when they log on Azure AD, it's the same username, victor at objectmage.com, that they would also use in their local on-premise Active Directory. Now the next screen includes the domain and OU filtering, which uh, specify which uh, part of your AD you would like to synchronize the account with. So let's say we are not interested in all of the account. Okay, we we'll just uh, select the account. Now this uh, take a moment to uh, actually uncheck all the check boxes and include only the accounts. There's that uh, doesn't seem to be an easy way to do this other than. Uh, uncheck all the OU that you don't want to see. Now the next one is since we're replicating directories from multiple sources uh, there is a possibility the same user is represented multiple times in a multiple directory. So in that case um, we may tell this sync utility to consolidate multiple users across multiple directories uh, into a single Azure AD account. Now we need to tell this tool what attribute is there to deduplicate them uh, as long for example uh, uh, if their mail uh, box attribute is the same then they're the same person okay we can also go based on the object set or same account or any other specific attribute that you like to use okay so it will show you uh, your AD schema again this helps the tool deduplicate account that exists uh, in multiple directories so, for example, I may have a uh, Victor in uh, the sales domain and uh, a Victor in the uh, IT domain. They're actually the same user if they share the same email address, for example. But in our test scenario, user are represented only once, regardless of how many inputs that we have. We only have one input, so it doesn't uh, really factor in in this case. Click on Next. Now we can also optionally uh, specify a filter uh, for the user and devices. So right now we just want to synchronize all of user and devices within the OU that we have selected earlier. Now there's some uh, additional optional features. All right, just uh, making sure the password synchronization is turned on, so you will synchronize the password hash between your on-premise AD and Azure AD. Now you can also choose password right back, so when a user changes his password, uh, his or hers password uh, on Azure AD, the password will be written back to your on-premise AD. You can select this choice if you encourage your user to change password using uh, the uh, Azure AD. All right, so we're going to fast forward this ready to configure. All right, this is going to take some time, so we'll fast forward this part as well. All right, once the configuration uh, is uh, come to completion, you will see the screen configure completed, and uh, we're going to switch over to uh, Azure AD to see uh, if our user account has made their way across to the Azure AD. All right, so after about uh, three minutes or so waiting and refreshing the Azure AD, you can see the uh, ATM sync showing up all the users and uh, that is the uh, wrap up for exercise one for uh, module 10